I decided that it's probably time that I took a look at the extracts that I made back in December. <laughs> I've been putting this off and putting this off and putting this off, so might as well have at it, right? So here I have vanilla extract that someone gave me, and this is what topped it all off. So I have another jar of vanilla extract. I have a jar of cinnamon extract. And this is lemon extract. So I'm going to taste them and then get them into these jars because I want to use this vanilla again. I already tasted these not too long ago and I thought that the vanilla was on point. So it's not the perfect way that I would do it and I understand there are more efficient ways, but I am going to pour this into here one of the vanilla beans came out which is good because I actually wanted to put a little slit in it that's perfect I am going to put the I card up at the top on how I made these so here's half of one of the vanilla beans. I'm just going to cut it down the middle and try to get some of that vanilla moving. And it's actually some on the plate. I'm not sure if you can see that. Put that in here. So it is April now, and like I said, these have been like this since December. So I'm going to pour this into here. No, I'm not. I'm not pouring this into here. I just poured. Just did that. I am pouring this into here. <laughs> this is done. These jars, I got 12, 12 of them from Amazon. And they have been washed and sanitized. So they're good to go. This is full up there. Now taking vodka, I am pouring more of that into this jar to do the same process over again. So I have refilled this with vodka, Tito's brand, and refilled this with vodka. These will go in one of my cabinets on a cool, dark place. Occasionally, I will come back and give it a gentle shake, but I will leave this in there. And the good thing is these are gonna make great gifts. I already know. Now here's the cinnamon extract. I have one, two, I believe four cinnamon sticks in there. I am going to taste it. If it has, if it still has a vodka taste or if I could still taste the alcohol, I'm just going to let it sit a little bit longer. But it smells great. That's really good. I can smell the cinnamon. It almost had a reddish color to it. Pouring it in here so you can see it. It's almost got a reddish color into it. I'm not sure if I can reuse these cinnamon sticks. So what I am going to do, I'm gonna leave them in here and put the top on it and I'm gonna go research it. Um, I'll put something in the video if, I, if I'm able to use them or not. But, man, that smells great.
Now the last of it is the lemon extract. When I tasted these three, maybe a little bit longer, um, I still kind of tasted the alcohol. So that's why I decided to let them all sit. I just opened this up and I smell that lemon. Wow. I don't taste the alcohol anymore. I definitely taste the lemon. So, it has a slight alcohol taste, aftertaste, a slight alcohol aftertaste. I think I'm gonna let this sit a little while longer. It's definitely not gonna hurt anything. If anything, it will just get stronger as it sits. Here's this. The vanilla and the cinnamon that I'm gonna look into. So I ended up, these are gonna go back in the cabinet, but I ended up with cinnamon extract and a jar and a half of vanilla extract. Thank you. Thank you for watching TT's Urban Pantry. If you enjoyed this content or was able to learn anything from it, please hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are uploaded. And as always, have a wonderful and blessed day.